Today I'm going to show you how to make a slip knot. All you do is take the end of your yarn and just fold it over and form a simple loop. And then I grab this right here and I take my thumb and my forefinger through the loop and I grab this piece of yarn. This is the one that's attached to the actual ball or skein of yarn. And I simply pull that through and then you just work it out just like that. And they call it a slip knot because you can literally slip it after it has been knotted. So you find the one side that you can that you can slide. And then you can insert your needle and get the excess out of the loop. And you want to tighten it, not too tight. You should be able to slip it fairly, fairly easily. You don't want it too loose either because then your stitches won't be the proper size. So I just kind of pull it until it stops. This end of the yarn, the shorter end, this is called your working yarn. Excuse me, this is called your tail. And you want to try and keep that out of your way. And then the other end that's attached to the ball is your working yarn. And you made your first slip stitch.